Mahagalo served his diocese since his consecration in 1989 with distinction and dedication. He died following a severe infection in his lungs in hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa. He gave purpose and direction to his diocese and inspired those around him to do great things. Mahagalo took this further as a sign of success as the number of churches and Anglican Christians grew in the Dodama region. Theological education was a priority for Mahagalo, who considered the formation of new leaders as something vital for the church. The development of the Diocese of Central Tanganyika depended on good leadership and during his time the Bible school at Misalato developed into a theological college of substance and significance in Tanzania with a reputation for excellence throughout the Anglican Communion. He also relied on great leadership to run the health facilitates and schools in his diocese and supported all who worked in serving the Lord. He was active in enabling local congregations in the rapidly developing city of Dodama and throughout the rural areas of the diocese. He was the first Tanzanian bishop to ordain women and champion their development in the church. He was a fiery opponent of female genital mutilation and encouraged programs aimed at ending the practice. During the 1990s, Mahagalo was recruited by Archbishop of Canterbury George Carey to participate in the design group for the 1998 Lambeth Conference. He was already known in many places and he had a deep knowledge of the Anglican Communion. He developed many friendships and partnerships with Anglican churches across the world. The Episcopal Church and the Anglican Church of Tanzania have historic ties through companion diocese relationships, missionary work, and relief and development projects. He was a voice of peace and toleration in the great tradition of Tanzanian leaders. He lived what he believed and was always honest, ready to speak the truth and challenge us all. He was also a man with a sense of joy who could lift us all with his sense of humor.